Welcome to Flash CS6 Tutorial 44 Memory Game Drag and Drop Part 2 It's a follow up to the Tutorial 43 which was Memory Game Drag and Drop and that's what I have on my computer. The last code we wrote was sending us to um, this new frame and if I look at my timeline I want to bring the targets this target line so click here insert a keyframe so now I have my targets on there and if I test it control test movie test after it counts five four three two one zero goes to zero and I'm on that frame where those targets are we now need to bring up the the objects those objects that are going to be dragged on here and let's go find them if I lock all my layers uh, unlock this preview layer select this second frame and click and highlight all those get that cross here right click copy those lock all the layers select keep that selected insert layer and I call this answers a n s w e r s answers select frame 3 insert a blank keyframe and come up here and paste in those answers now now we gotta give these answers uh, make the movie clips so highlight this one right click convert it to a symbol Make sure this center registration is clicked. Make sure movie clip is selected. And let's give this a name. Type, type, type. I'm calling it SQL1 underscore MC as in square for level one movie clip. Copy that. Open the properties panel. Paste it in. And while it's highlighted, just drag it down here. Select this one right click modify convert it to a symbol call this circle C I R sir capital L1 shift underscore MC copy that paste it in for an instance name and drag it down highlight this one right click modify convert it to a symbol and call this try as in triangle T R I capital L one shift underscore MC and copy that and paste it in as an instance name okay let's go up to this frames labels select this frame to right click convert it to a blank keyframe highlight it open the properties panel and give it this name capital L1 capital PREV as in L1 level 1 preview make sure all the layers are locked select this frame 3 of the actions layer and insert a blank keyframe open your actions panel and type 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 this code this is the code that's going to allow us to drag and drop these uh, movie clips so we're going to start off sql1 underscore mc that's the square movie clip period add event listener small a capital e capital l that turns blue open bracket it's a mouse event capital M capital E that turns blue period mouse underscore down all uppercase capital letters comma and I'm calling this drag square L1 capital D capital SQ capital L1 close bracket semicolon to call this function up function f-u-n-c-t-i-o-n copy that drag SQ L1 and paste it in here open bracket event small e v e n t turns blue colon mouse event capital m capital e you can copy it and paste it in 
close bracket colon void, void and function are the same color. There's an open curly bracket for the function and as you start to type this in, this close curly bracket here will come in, if not put it in. And it's at SQL1 underscore MC period start drag. Small s capital D turns blue. Open close bracket semicolon and that allows us to drag that square. Copy that. Paste it in. Change the SQ1 uh, L1MC and write in stage. S-T-A-G-E. Keep all this, keep all this. Here have, instead of mouse down, put mouse up, comma. Instead of drag, put drop, D-R-O-P. Change drag to drop. Copy that and paste it in here. So it's drop square L1. This stays the same. This stays the same. There's the open curly bracket for this function. There's the close curly bracket. And here, instead of start drag, put stop drag. Now, copy from here all the way up to there. Copy all that. Paste it in. And where you see the, the um, SQ, put try. So this is try here. Try here. Try try here here and here then go down and paste it in again and where you see the try put cir as in circle circ 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 and now come to the very top put an enter arrow up and put a stop S T O P open close bracket semicolon let's test this out hopefully no faults that's good four three two one they drop down and now I can click and drag them and do what I want with them so now we need a a button called check button make sure all the layers are locked select this answers layer insert a layer and call it check button C H E C K capital B T N check button select this last frame here I think it's frame 3 insert a keyframe or blank keyframe and let's make a button over here somewhere I'm gonna pick up my oval tool right here I want a greenish color for my fill. And I'm making an oval. I'm going to highlight it. Right click, convert it to a symbol. This time make sure button is selected and give it this instance name, type, type, type. Check, C-H-E-C-K, capital C, capital L1 underscore B-T-N. Check for level one button, copy that and paste that in as an instance name. Now if I double click on it, um, now I'm inside that button. There's the timeline for that button here. Call this the button, B-U-T, lock it. Insert a layer, call this text, T-E-X-T. -E Come over to your fill bucket, pick up a color. I'm gonna pick up a reddish color here and Pick up a text box, open the properties panel for the text tool. I need static text this time, and I like what I see there. This might be a bit big. Let's put this down to around 10 or 11, and come up here and write check. C-H-E-C-K, and pick up your selection tool, drag that down in here. There's my check button. Back to my main timeline. We're back on the main timeline. I want to make sure all my layers are locked. 
selecting this frame three of my actions code, opening the actions panel, come way down to the bottom, as far as I can, couple enters, and type, 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 type this code. Check L1 underscore BTN. That's the button we just made. This add event listener, same as above. Uh, after the button, there's a period. This add event listener is the same as above. Open bracket, most event, same as above. Period, click. All capitals, uppercase, C-L-I-C-K, comma, check L1. Capital C, capital L. Close bracket, semicolon. Come down here, function. You can copy this check L1 and paste it in here. Open bracket event, small e, V E N T turns blue. Colon mouse event, capital M, capital E, turns blue. Close bracket, colon void. There's the open curly bracket for the function. There's the close curly bracket for a function. Now, we're doing two things. The first thing we're going to do is what's called a trace. T R A C E turns blue. Open bracket, quotation, OK close quotation, close bracket, semicolon. So when I press this check button, this I'm going to trace in my output panel the word letters OK to let me know the button's working. At the same time, I'm going to do a test. If, open bracket, open bracket, tar1l1 underscore mc. That's the target up here, the first target. Period. Hit test object small h, capital T, capital O, turns blue if it's spelt right. Open bracket, SQL1 underscore MC, that's this square. Close bracket, close bracket. So if the, when I move the, drag the box and put it up here, this will be true. And, two ampersands, and, and, this is the Boolean and function. It's the uppercase of the, um, number seven I believe yes it is open bracket now you could copy and paste some of these but I'm just going to go through it as it is uh, tar 2 l1 underscore MC period hit text object open bracket CIR l1 underscore MC close bracket close bracket close bracket so if the this one here is up here, and if this circle is up here, I'm going to do something. So here's the open curly bracket for the if. There's the closed curly bracket for the if. I'm going to trace, T-R-A-C-E, open bracket, quotation, hit square, close quotation, close bracket, semicolon. What you write in these side of these quotations doesn't matter. It's just letting us know two things. So let's test this. Hopefully no errors. I got no errors. I'm waiting for it to count down. I can move these. And if I put them if I put this on here and put this on here, and as soon as I click this, two things are going to happen. It's going to give me two traces. It says OK and it says that this is this are hitting. So now I just got to add this one to this square. Go back to the timeline, go back to the action script. So now I need to add the hit test for the triangle and its target. So let's try this. Get here before between these last two uh, closed brackets. Get your cursor in here. Click and drag until you have the two and signs. Right click, copy that. Get back between there. Right click, oh, I'm in the wrong spot. That jumps sometimes. Right click, paste it. And change this to from target two to target three. And change this from circle to try. And I have to try this, T-R-I because I don't want to go any further if this is not working. Test movie test. Put that here. Put that here. Put that here. 
and I get two traces. Good, that's working. Okay, now when we have these correct, we want to do more than just trace something. So on this frame labels, select this fourth frame, insert a blank keyframe, open the properties panel, and we're going to label this L2 PREV, capital L, capital P. So that's the preview part of the level two. Once you type that in, right click, copy it. Go back to your action code here. Open up the action panel and come down here where we have this information about this hit. Uh, we can actually click that and put two forward slashes. I don't need that anymore. Two forward slashes. I don't need that anymore. And I'm just doing this so I can keep them in case I have to troubleshoot. And paste in that name. And then click in front of it. G-O-T-O. -O, small G, small T. Capital A and D. Capital S-T-O-P. Open bracket. Quotation. Then there's that L2 prev that we just pasted in. Close quotation, close bracket, semicolon. And that's going to jump us to this frame. And if I just did this now, I would get some errors. Okay, so let's take this text box. And right here, click insert a keyframe. Bring that text up there. And here where the targets are, click here. And the same thing, insert a keyframe. And the answers line, click here, insert a keyframe. So we have something on frame four for the target, nothing on frame four for previews. We have the answers on frame four, no buttons on frame four, and we have the text box. I have no ears yet. No errors. I'll drag this one up. Drag this one up. Drag this one up. And I went to a count of zero. But I really don't know if it's working or not. Okay, let's go back to that frame three of the actions layer. Open the actions panel. And down here, where we're testing all these, all of these, um, movie clips to see if they're put in the right place. Click on the end here. Put a couple enters and type in this line. Type, 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 type. It's um, square one or square L1 underscore MC period X equals circle L L1 underscore MC period X equals try L1 underscore MC period X equals check L1 underscore BTN period X equals 1000 comma. So what that's going to do is when I get them right, they're going to be sent way off the screen. Now, you might say, why am I putting them there? If I don't put them there, I'll get an error uh, code 1009, which tells me I have things on the stage that the computer is looking for in the code and it's no longer there. Let's go back to the timeline and this check button right here. Let's uh, insert a keyframe and bring that up here. And now let's test this out. Three, two, one. I'm going to put them up here where they belong. Naturally, you're going to have these rearranged. When I click this check button, these will disappear. This will disappear, and I'll go to the start of level two. That's good. I think that's enough for this video. There's going to be a follow-up. It'll be Flash CS6 Tutorial 45 Memory Game Drag and Drop Part 3. If you plan on doing that Part 3, make sure you save this FLA. Hope you learned something from this tutorial. And I hope you use what you learn.